hey guys so in this video i'll be showing you how to connect your bomb squad server through telnet so using telnet you can basically run few commands on your server which you usually use like the chat commands and you can also use it for some other purposes but i won't be seeing it over here but yeah you can do everything that you do through this bin scp or whatever you use to host your server so let's get into it so you'll be needing command prompt for this but the command prompt is really messed up after the current update of the server files that is 0 0.150 so there's another thing that i'm using is the git bash for that you'll have to download git gui i'll leave the link in the description so you can do it later on but you can use the command prompt but the problem here is that for that you'll have to use an older version of the bomb squad server because in this current latest version i'm getting some issues but i never actually used the command prompt so i won't recommend it but i'll show you what's the problem over here okay so first thing uh is you'll have to host your server and there's few other things in the server i'll show you okay so this is the ip and the server files so i'll be hosting this one you have to go in your bomb squad server file over here and uh, you'll have to go to the talent okay so this is where you'll have to make some changes so this true over here is basically false by default so you'll have to change it and hit true over there and this is the port which is default 42.0 4250 and this is the password so in the earlier versions there weren't password for the telnet so in the earlier versions you were basically able to connect just using the ip and port but if it was false over here then you weren't able to connect but if it was true then you can basically connect to anyone's server well that's the older version anyways so there might be few servers running you can test it on it so if it is true then you can basically do anything on that server whatever the server is so i guess that's the reason also yeah recently that spam bot and all happened using telnet itself so i guess that's the reason why the update has a password now so yeah so you have to do some changes over here so the default password here is like change name so you just have to change it and rename it to whatever you want to keep the password so i've kept telnet test so after this after doing all this you can just save it and close this and host the server so yeah the server is up so that's all you have to do on this server after that you can just join the server so i'll just be joining the server from android i'll just show you all the commands and all work so yeah first i'll show you what's the problem with command prompt or you can use it using the older versions though so yeah first we'll have to go to telnet so here's the thing for enabling this microsoft telnet option on your command prompt you'll have to do some other things on the system files i don't know i, I don't remember it actually i did it very long ago so you just search on google how to enable telnet on your command prompt or on your pc or whatever so, and after that you have to do i guess is this yeah so yeah so we need this command over here that's the o open host name and the port so we'll be going with o and the server ip and the port so the port was 43250 so we're using it over here mm, just ignore that so yeah here's the password thing that the password was telnet, telnet test right so here's the problem with command prompt now if i were to hit even one letter it's going to show error instantly so i'm not sure if i have to copy paste or something but i don't use the command prompt anyway so i'll just show you the error now let's see if i hit a i'll directly show that it's an incorrect password so that's the issue over here that's why i won't recommend using this thing well it was already messed up in the earlier versions as well that's what happened so yeah just forget the command prompt so yeah then we just open the git bash it's already opened over here okay so here you don't have to use that telnet etc alone the commands are different over here so we'll just go with connect one three two three two three four eight yes and the port and the password telnet test 
Okay, so we are in the server now. So yeah, so we are in the server. So what we can do over here is we can check how many players are there on our server right now. So I just hosted it, so I don't think it will be on the server. So this is the command for checking. So this command will also show um, the client IDs and the name of the players. So there isn't anyone on the server. So I'll just join from my Android. Right. So I have joined from my Android account. Now let's run the command again. So okay. So I have joined from two Androids. So I should see two players over here and the first one is of course the server. Let's leave it against the display string Android. So this is the first account and the client ID is 113. And the second account is going to be again, it's a Google Play account, I've named it PC. And the client ID is 114. And the current name in game is Mad Dog, etc. Okay, so well, there are many commands you can use through this, but I won't be showing each and every one of them. But I'll only be showing you a few commands, or I might just make a list and add it in the description, but it's a big might, you know. I'm not sure whether I should be uploading it or not, or else you can figure it out on your own. But it's a big might. I might, might not do it, but let's see. So yeah, another command I'll show you is, okay, let's see. Now I want to show a screen message on the server, then I'll have to add So I want to say hi And that's the hi over there So that's the hi, now this game well so there's a few more command like you can kick directly from over here and like you can get some chat messages okay so i might show the chat messages one right now it's really easy so what the chat message messages one does is that it will show you the recent chats on your server well it's going to be the very recent one the oldest one you won't be able to see it's like you can see the bare minimum around 20 to 25 messages so let's do that. Get chat. I think this should be the command. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, I just typed some random words and yeah, there it is. So I think it's like around five to six, but you can see to see 25 to 30, I guess at max, the latest 25 to 30 messages. But this is a private server, so I don't think many people will join right now. So uh, that's it and yeah, so I'll finally show the kick one. Oh, also, and the other thing that I'll do is I'll show you how to use the Stellnet thing on your Android as well. So it'll cover up the mobile part as well. So yeah, for kick, what you're going to need is this, the client ID over here and the client ID over here. So this is the ID for the Android account and this is the ID for the PC or Google Play account. So I want to kick the Android one. So what I'll have to do over here is Okay, so this is the command for it and you'll just have to type in the ID in the brackets. So I'll kick the Android one and that's 113. And boom, it's kicked. So that's all for it, I guess. Also one last command, how to reboot your server through Telnet. All you have to do is ps.quit. So this reboots the server. So there's actually a few other things you can do from Telnet is that you can change your server name while it's running itself, but the server name will change to default or whatever it was when you host it after it reboots. So it's just gonna work for the temporary time until it reboots. Also, you can check the port, the commands for checking ports as well, and etc. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video, guys. I hope I covered everything because I don't remember that. There's too much thing literally. So I just try to do the bare minimum right now. So yeah, uh, I'll, I'll add the Android part at the end of this, and that's it, guys.
hey guys so in this video so less on words right now babe. hey guys so in this video I'll be showing you how to connect your bomb squad server through telnet so what you're going to need in for this video nah man come on <laughs> you can Oh yeah, I just remembered. No. Okay, so yeah, there's actually one more thing that you can do. I've completely forgot what I was talking about. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell us what you want us to do in the next video. Also, yeah, um, if you like feel like you want to know some more commands for this, then feel free to comment and. You might just upload it in the description. That's it, guys.